Today we're gonna to do some road milling. Uh, so, I'm gonna to try to get some video of the milling machine back behind the truck, filling up the bed. Uh, just so you know, I have three suction cup mounts ordered coming uh, from Amazon. Uh, so we'll do a review on them in case you guys are curious. Uh, you wanna put some suction cups on your car or on your truck or on your lawnmower or whatever uh, to try to do some pretty cool filming. I'll let you know how they turn out and I'll link to them once they come in and we test them out. Uh, but right now, like I said, we're gonna go do some road milling. Uh, so let's head on out there. Service. 
and uh, I ended up expanding the lawn service to the point where I had to make a decision and Coca-Cola back in the day when when driving uh, the 18 wheelers used to make $90 a day that was it $90 a day um, I can make $90 in two yards three yards excuse me back in the in the late 80s uh, early 90s um, we used to work in a neighborhood called Sunswept and you get $15, $18 a yard and you get like 10 of them in a row and it'd take you like three hours to do them all because they're really small yards and with a 36 inch scab walk behind. And it just got to a point where it was like, make no money with Coca-Cola but have all the benefits, which was cool. But I was 20 years old. I didn't give a crap about benefits. You know, you don't think about that sort of stuff, retirement and all that or go chase the lawnmower. So I chased the lawnmower and uh, built a pretty good business. And then I got the bug that I wanted to be a cop and got hired to be a cop, but without military or college, I wasn't ever gonna get into the academy. It was uh, Florida Highway Patrol. They actually hired me in 99. Uh, but to get in the academy, I wouldn't, they, I wouldn't get my name called because they're gonna fill the slots with prior military or college. Um, and I was, at the time, I was 29 years old and I was going to age out, 36, you age out to get into their academy. So, the recruiter for the Highway Patrol said, man, just go do a couple years in the Army. So I went and did a couple years in the Army, ended up really liking it, changed jobs from a combat arms position to aviation because I figured, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick this out, I want to learn a trade, I want to do something cool. So I went into the aviation and um, did that for 13 years and then when I went from from uh, Germany with my class A CDL license I was stationed in Germany I went first I went to Washington State kept my license then I went to uh, Germany and then from Germany I came back to uh, Georgia and when I went to Georgia here at 3ID they were pretty strict on your license that you switch it over in 30 days to the to the state that you're serving in. Um, at least that was back then in 2004. So I ended up, uh, I was going to keep my class A CDL, but it was a pain back then to switch it over. So I was just like, screw it, just give me a normal license. So that's why I had to re-get my license. That's why I had to retest and redo the driving test and all that. So, um, but why did I get it? Because I love lawn mowing. Don't get me wrong. I like lawn mowing and, and and I like having it, but I only like having lawn mowing as a side hustle. I don't want to wake up every day and cut grass. That was when I was younger. That was when I had a lot more energy and a lot more motivation to, to be a go-getter in the sense of chasing accounts, scoring new lawns. You know, it was, it was all, you know, pat yourself on the back, really good stuff. Um, I burned out on it, you know, over time. I just don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to chase accounts. I don't want to answer the phone and go give estimates. I just don't want to be bothered anymore, you know? And, uh, but I like to do it as a side hustle. I like talking to the customers that I have because they're few and far in between that they bother me or that I bother them. Um, so I have a select group of customers that I like to service, just under 20. Uh, what do I, I think I have 17 clients. Uh, for a total of 18 accounts because one of them has two properties. I think that's right uh, I'm friends with many of them On a personal level. I mean I can call them up and say hey, what you doing? Let's hang out And there's a few that I, I can um, So When I got divorced and I was mowing full-time back in 2016 when I was getting divorced that's when I made my choice that, you know what, um, I'm going to get back into driving. And so at the end of 2016, that's when I turned around and, and, and got my license again. And I decided, I saw this roll-off driving stuff. And I was like, you know, that looks kind of interesting. I'm going to check that out. And uh, went and got my Class B license and got hired to be a roll-off driver. And so I've been driving ever since. Um, been with a few different companies and then uh, you know the roll-off driving went a little bit too long in the hours every day um, it was just too much great money uh, but it didn't give me any time to cut grass at all 
unless I was going to cut on a Sunday. Uh, gave me no time with my kids, so I switched over to the residential side, which gave me a lot more time to cut grass and stuff, but I don't want to be a garbage man my whole life, and it's very physical work, and which was okay, uh, but I don't want to do that my whole life, you know what I mean? I'm going to be 50 this year. And I always had, had the thought of being a dump truck driver. That, that's where you want to be. You want to be in a dump truck. Uh, if you want to be a truck driver and you want to be local, then you want to do it in a dump truck because it's easy work. You know, you get loaded in five minutes and you get empty in 20 seconds. It's easy work. Uh, so my future plans with my CDL license is, uh, as many of you may know from my last vlog I put up for driving, I got my class A permit now, and I still of course have my B regular, you know, my B license. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the class A driving exam, the skills test here soon, not exactly sure when. Um, and our company that I work for now has 18 wheelers. Um, and if things don't work out with this company, then I wanna be able to get into maybe a logging truck. Um, I think logging trucks are quite interesting. And, um, you know, or maybe end dump, maybe get into end dumps. Um, so that's my, or just stay right where I'm at, you know, but, you know, that's considering if things work out. Things don't always work out. This company might pack up and leave Savannah because, you know, they might just not like the competition here. They're huge in Charlotte. Um, they're just dipping their toes in the pond here in the south. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how long we can ride out this ride. And uh, take it from there. See ya.